Holiday here, I'm doing a video on personality types. Um, first thing I'm going to do is pull up and, um, well, there we go, personality types. Probably should have had that up already. Um, I'm going to pull up just the basic four quadrants of the personality types. And Aristotle and Hippocrates came up with this idea that there's four basic personality types. There is choleric. There is sanguine, there is phlegmatic, and there is melancholy. Choleric and melancholy are both task oriented. Sanguine and phlegmatic are both people oriented or people based. These top two, choleric and sanguine, are extroverted or outgoing and melancholy and phlegmatic or introverted or reserved type people. So that's the basic four quadrants of the personalities. It gets a little more complicated from here, so I'm going to pull up a few more slides and let you see what I'm talking about. This would be an excellent slide right here with the exception of it um, has a mistake on it. This is not phlegmatic. This is actually sanguine, this area right here. This is um, put in the form of um, description, driver, expressive, uh, and an animal, and analytical. It also breaks it up into lion, otter, golden retriever, and beaver. And uh, it would be choleric, sanguine, phlegmatic, melancholy, if this slide was properly said. And then these ex explain what they are. There's pro and con to each um, quadrant. The pro is um, the strengths and the con is the weaknesses of it. The strengths of each one, the driver is a decision maker they're the leaders so they're task oriented like we said in the previous slide right over here they are task oriented and they are outgoing are their leaders so they're drivers the sanguine they're outgoing and they're leaders but they're people oriented so these are very expressive and they're very interactive with people the phlegmatics they're reserved, but they're still people oriented, so they make good, warm, personable, hospitable type people. And then the reserved but task oriented is the analytical people. They work good alone, they work good in details, they are the detail people. These are the strengths of all the four quadrants. The drawbacks of the four quadrants is the driver can be overbearing, the sanguine can be too silly, the um, phlegmatic can be too um, indecisive or passive, and the analytical can be over anal or over um, bearing or just real stern or task oriented, too task oriented. Here's pictures for them. Oh, wrong one. The pictures work like this Lion is the driver. The otter is the uh, sanguine. The golden retriever is the phlegmatic. And the beaver is the melancholy. It's also put out as DISC. The driver is dominant, um, their leaders. I is the influencer or the expressive person, and there's the sanguine. The steady or stable person is the phlegmatic. And then the cautious, um, compliant person is the melancholy. Here are the DIS, it's out of order, DISC, it's backwards actually. The driver, the dominant, the lion, the otter, the stabilizer, golden retriever, and the beaver. Here's some different, some people change it to owl and looks like a teddy bear and a monkey. But the more dominant um, 
temperament animals are these right here and a guy named Gary Smiley made them uh, famous actually if you take each if you take each one of these fours and divide them into four or I'm sorry multiply them by four you have 16 so like my personal example I am otter and then I'm lion and then I am golden retriever and I'm beaver last so it's a sequence so each one of these four have variables so each one of those four four times four is 16 that makes this personality chart right here this uh, 16 is the the Briggs Myers personality test that you can take online and pay six hundred dollars I think for it it may not be that much but somebody said it's amazingly expensive anyway breaks it out to each one of these layouts and then a lot of people have gone and put um, labeled them teacher mastermind whatever they even have pictures that are all Star Wars characters all movie stars I mean you can go through and find out who, who you are quote unquote different animals um, not just the four main animals but the breakout of these 16 into more animals the drawback to each of these personality types is um, the weaknesses and those weaknesses come when your personality equals more than 30% in one area. Let me give you an example. I am 31% otter. So my I joke around too much and my follow through is not good. Um, I know people that are over 30% here and they're very, very um, mean actually. They're just kind of rough to be around. They're usually accurate and they're usually right, but they're very driven and they don't care if they hurt your feelings. These people are so indecisive they can't make a decision. So if you're over 30% in this, you can't even make a decision without being afraid you're going to hurt somebody's feelings. This guy right here, they're just so detailed and so list-oriented that they're usually suspicious. So they're always thinking something's up. Conspiracy theorists are these type right here. If you are less than 20 in any one of these four, then you are you don't get any of the strengths if you're over 30 you get the weaknesses of them so the perfect range is 25 25 25 and 25 that makes them a hundred percent so if you had were in the middle and got all the strengths here and no weaknesses of all four of these you'd be the perfect human whether you believe that to be some uh, deity god jesus buddha whoever anyway that's how that lays out there. When you know this, when you deal with other people, you are able to um, immediately know how to deal with them. With a driver, a cleric type person, the lions, you have to let them be in charge. You manipulate them through letting them be in charge. Otters, you have to have fun with them and listen to their stories. The golden retrievers, they're just going to do whatever you tell them to do. They're going to be loyal and they're going to just follow your commands. So you have to guide them appropriately. And then the beavers, they're always going to be suspicious. So you have to give them a 20, 20 billet list of why they need to do whatever it is you're trying to communicate with them. So anyway, this is a layout of the personality types. And this... Uh, is uh, really changed my life and helped me a lot. So I hope it helps you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Until next time, keep being healthy, wealthy, and free. And keep uh, being uh, humble, uh, well, and wise. Talk to you soon. Bye now.